Welcome to our lecture online. Now in this example, even though it's a trigonometric function, we do have a limit when we let x approach infinity. In this case, we have the inverse tangent of x. So as x gets larger and larger and larger, the value for that expression, inverse tangent of x, gets closer and closer and closer to 90 degrees or in radians pi over 2. So it does have a limit, what we can say when let x go into infinity, you can see that here with this graph here, that it gets closer and closer and closer to pi over 2, and in the limit, as x becomes infinity, the value will be pi divided by 2. So we can say that this must be therefore equal to pi divided by 2. To help us out a little bit, the definition of the tangent of an angle, of course, is the sine of the angle divided by the cosine of the angle. And if we plug in pi over 2, or 90 degrees, the tangent of 90 degrees, or pi over 2, is equal to the sine of pi over 2, divided by the cosine of pi over 2. The sine of pi over 2 is 1. The cosine of pi over 2 is 0. 1 divided by 0, infinity, or undefined. So therefore, when we reverse it, then if we let the the uh, ratio go to infinity and we want to know what the angle is that's what we mean by the inverse tangent the angle of course is pi over 2 when we let the ratio uh, sine of theta divided by cosine of theta go to infinity and of course a quick reminder what if we go to the negative infinity what if we say the limit as x goes to negative infinity of the arc tangent of x and again, looking at the graph here, when we go to negative infinity, then of course the limit becomes negative pi over 2. So this is equal to negative pi over 2, just in case you were wondering what happened if we go the other direction.